In the account of death and resurrection of Jesus, uh, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, what is the difference between Islam and Christianity? How do they differ in terms of the death and resurrection of Jesus? Uh, let me start with the ascension, because okay. Christians believe that after he died and he resurrected from the dead, he ascended to heaven. Right. Muslims also believe that Jesus ascended into heaven. And uh, many don't realize this because the Quran says, Bal Allahu ilahi, God, but God raised him to himself, Akan Allahu Aziz and Hakim, and God is mighty and wise. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Muslims share with Christians this understanding that Jesus, uh, that Jesus was raised into heaven. Uh, Muslims also believe that Jesus will come again, and, and that is a shared belief with our Christian friends. Now, when it comes to the crucifixion itself, Muslim classical uh, uh, commentators on the Quran had said that uh, Jesus was not put on the cross, but somebody else was made to look like Jesus and in that moment of confusion that other person was put on the cross instead. Uh, Christians insist that based on the Gospels uh, it must have been Jesus on the cross and they think that uh, this is now a solid point of history and they ask why should Muslims contend that what is known to be a historically proven uh, uh, fact. Uh, well it, whether it is historically proven or not this is a separate question but if one were to go to the Gospels and look at them carefully right. one one would realize that there is some doubt in the Gospels themselves as to whether Jesus actually died at the time when it was commonly believed that he died. Mm -hmm. You see, nobody checked his pulse. Nobody actually verified medic medic medically whether he was actually mm -hmm. dead. They just presumed him to be dead. And when a request was made to pilot the Roman governor for the body to be released from the cross so that he could be given a decent burial, Pilate marveled as to whether he had died so soon because usually crucifixion took a few days to right, kill a person. Right. Right. And Jesus, by all accounts, was there on the cross only for a few hours. So probably he wasn't dead then. So the Quran is basically saying, uh, as for their boast that they killed Jesus, son of Mary, ma qataluhu wa ma salabuhu wa shubbi uh, They killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it appeared to them. Uh, uh, Abdul Majid Daribadi in his Tafsir al Quran explains the word crucifixion as meaning to kill a person by means of crucifixion. It's not just I the see. crucifixion itself, right, but it's right. an, a method of execution. So, as a method of ex execution, it failed on that occasion. To yes. me, this is what the Quran is saying. They killed him not, and in case they were thinking, but wait a minute, we crucified him, the Quran is saying, well, you didn't even do that did you? Because if you look back at the records, you will see that there was some doubt. This explains why in Matthew's Gospel it says that the Jews, uh, who wanted him dead, it came back the next day, which was the day of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Because the crucifixion occurred on the Friday, they said, and then the Sabbath is the Saturday. The Jews came back and they went to Pilate and they said, well, wait a minute, seal up the tomb. Uh, lest the, the, the disciples will come steal his body away and then they will proclaim that he resurrected from the dead and then the second deception would be greater than the first. What did they think was the first deception? You see, they left the scene on Friday thinking that Jesus would be dead. Right. They had requested that the legs of the uh, crucified victims be broken, but only the other two victims had their legs broken and Jesus' legs were spared. So what, what, what's the purpose of breaking the legs? One theory is that by breaking the legs, you hasten death. Right, right. So the Jews left the scene thinking that his legs would be broken, he'll be done for. They heard later on that his legs weren't broken, and now they're saying, well, wait a minute, seal up the tomb, because he, the next thing you know, he'll come out of the tomb alive, and then they will say that he resurrected from the dead. Right, so right. Uh, they themselves had some doubt. This is why the Quran says, mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. who differ about him uh, are, are in doubt concerning the matter. They have no knowledge concerning the matter, except that they follow some uh, conjecture. They, they right, just right. supposed that he was dead, but he wasn't actually dead. So it seems to me that this is what the Quran is saying. They thought they had him dead, mm -hmm. but they didn't kill him for certain. That's why the verse ends by saying, but they didn't kill him for certain. For certain. Thank you very much for that clarification.